Hey, Steve H here from my studio in New York. And I wanted to show you a couple of things that I like to do when I'm working with Logic. Now, a lot of you know me from some of my past tutorials and some of my live performances uh, that I use with my Buchlos and I process with Logic. So what I like to do with Logic is get underneath the hood, really get into the environment and see what I can do to manipulate the flow of MIDI signals to do exactly what I want them to do. Now, when I perform live, I use the modulators in ways that you can't use them unless you go into the environment to do it. And what I mean by that is that I use them to open and close sends. I use them to do automatic panning and a lot of other things. So in these few tutorials, I'm going to show you how to use modulators in ways that they really weren't intended to be used and ways that you can use them um, in your own projects. So let's get started. There are three letters that you've got to know, and those are IAC, and they stand for Inter-Application Communication. So what does that mean? Well, it's a way for any other open application to send MIDI and receive MIDI from any other open application. Think of them as virtual patch cords. And how do these patches kind of get organized? Well, they get organized through something called the IAC bus or the inter-application communication bus. And it all starts in your audio MIDI setup. So you open up that audio MIDI setup and in the menu selections at the top, you select show the MIDI studio. Sometimes it says hide, sometimes it says show, but make sure that you're showing the MIDI studio. And you'll know right away because you'll see this window right here. And this window shows you everything that's connected MIDI-wise to Logic. Notice that the IAC driver is not lit up. And because of that, there are no IAC buses activated in the physical input in Logic's environment. So in order to get all of those lines of communication active, you've got to click on the IAC driver icon, which will open up this window. And in this window, which is the IAC properties, you've got to make sure that the IAC driver device is online. You've got to make sure this box is ticked. Because when it is, back over in the other window, you'll see that the IAC driver now is activated. It's bright and shiny, right? Ready to go. And back in Logic's environment, you'll notice that the physical input has been populated with all kinds of IAC buses. And once those are activated, it's time to have some fun. Let's see what we can do with them. 